Hi everyone, welcome to Science Tutorial for you. There are four hormones involved in menstrual cycle and these hormones are FSH, LH, Estrogen and Progesterone. The FSH and LH are made in the pituitary gland. Whereas estrogen and progesterone are made and released from the ovaries. Now, FSH has two functions. Its first function is to develop the egg and also causes the release of estrogen from the ovaries. Whereas estrogen has also two functions. It stops the, stops the release of FSH, which is follicle stimulating hormone, and it causes the release of LH, which stands for luteinizing hormone. Luteinizing hormone causes the release of the egg from the ovaries at day 14 and this process is called ovulation. So LH causes ovulation and once the egg has been released, the progesterone maintains the lining of the uterus. So let's draw a flow diagram for this. So we know that FSH causes egg development. And it causes the release of estrogen. The positive sign over here shows that FSH causes the release, promotes the release of estrogen. And we learn that Estrogen stops the release of FSH, so negative sign over here, which represent it stops or you could say inhibits the release of FSH. And LH causes ovulation, where the egg is released at day 14. And if the egg is not fertilized, then the whole menstrual cycle starts again. I'd like to also tell you that the contraceptive pill, which is used to reduce the fertility, contains estrogen because estrogen stops the release of FSH. So the egg will not get matured. And so the female taking the contraceptive pill will not get pregnant. But FSH and LH will be given for ladies who is trying to get pregnant because FSH contain egg development and LH causes ovulation. So to increase fertility, FSH and LH hormones are taken and to reduce fertility, estrogen is taken in the contraceptive pills. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.